Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina, and today's pick a card is who is our future spouse? So we'll take a look at some personality traits and, and maybe uh, other things like how you meet or things like that. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right. We're picking with these little lip balms, cute little things here. Pile one, we have green. Pile two, yellow. Pile three, blue. Pile four, pink. All right, so take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to. Go to the timestamp and uh, we'll see what your future spouse's personality is like. All right, pile one, if you chose this green one, let's get some cards for you here. Two of Wands, Knight, I mean, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Oh, now we're talking. Three of Cups and <laughs> the High Priestess. Oh, boy. All right. Um, strong personalities here. Let me just tell you. You guys, I, you chose each other well. Let me just tell you that right now. You got the king and the queen. You guys are going to be a power couple. You guys are going to go places. Um, but the two of wands tell me, tells me that you chose your person carefully. Which leads me to believe that you might have been hurt in the past. So you wanted to make sure, like... You didn't take this lightly. You're not taking it lightly. You're like you're not gonna get married again unless you know that this person's perfect for you. Again, and I said married again. Now, how about that? So this could be a second marriage for some of you, but I'm not really feeling that strongly. That was like kind of a slip of the tongue, but I don't believe in accidents. I think it happened for a reason. So this must be somebody's story that this is a um, a second marriage. But anyway, I feel like you really chose this person. You didn't want to get hurt. You chose them for, you know, specific reasons. And you know, you guys are going to have reasons to celebrate. It's going to be a great marriage. I think you guys are going to be on the same page. I think you have the same goals. I think that you guys are going to be very honest with each other. You're going to use your, your heads a lot. You're going to like reason things out. You're going to find ways to come together and really just make it work. Along with trusting your intuition, because we have the high priestess here, right? So I kind of feel like this is a match made in heaven. I do think it's perfect for you. Um, I do feel like it's more logical than it is emotional. So we might have to like work on the emotions a little bit here. Not that there's not love or anything like that. It's just a... Uh, Sometimes you guys are head over heart and, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to have, be a little bit more compassionate sometimes in certain situations, but you're both the same. You're both, you both have very similar personalities. So I do feel like this is kind of a perfect match. It's uh let me, let me get you a few more traits. Hang on. All right. Sorry, I had a sneezing fit. I felt sneezes coming on. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Affectionate and fun personality. So I do feel like, you know, you're not all stoic. You're not all, like, buttoned up and straight-laced. Like, you do know how to have fun. And, oh, sorry. Hang on. All right, so your person is has more of that fun, um, affectionate personality. You guys are going to, you guys, like, you're going to love each other. Like, I don't want to give you the wrong impression where you're all going to be, like I said, like, straight-laced and buttoned up. You, you're going to be very affectionate towards each other. You're just going to use your brains a lot more than others do. Um, but I kind of feel like your person might like to be the center of attention a little bit. Um, I do think that they're going to be very attractive. I think you're attractive too, but I think your person's going to be very attractive because I feel like they turn heads. 
And I think it's because they have a little bit, um, they have some charisma, but it's, it's more of a dry sense of humor. That's what I'm feeling. Again, I feel like your person's very smart. Um, I do feel like they command respect. You know, people like may, might walk on eggshells around them because they, they have this like confidence that makes them feel like that makes other people feel like, like I don't want to disappoint this person or I don't want to look bad in this person's eyes. But I do feel like your person is successful. And I think that your future is really looking bright. So let's get a few more cards and uh, see where this goes. Guaranteed success. So at least we know that it's going to be a long-term relationship here, a, a, a lasting marriage. Dauphin. Financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. So I do feel like your person is successful. Um, I also, that's also, dolphins also represent family and fun for me. So again, it, it's going to be a family unit. You're going to, like, if either one of you already have kids, their kids are going to be, like, well taken care of and well loved and and or if you have kids together it, again it's i feel like there's a family coming together here your kids are going to like them and or vice versa their kids are going to like you or if you have don't have any then you know you will i i, I feel like you will i feel like there's going to be a family here white eagle ancestor spirit connect to your lineage a family wound or panel uh pattern can be healed um again they're just pointing out the family lineage right i'm sorry this is ridiculous okay i'm sorry the neighbor has a dog over there <laughs> can't win pile one i can't win i'm so sorry ghost I shut the door so it would be less, it would be more quiet, and then Ghost just busted his way in. <laughs> he doesn't like closed doors. All right, so they had a dog, and my dolls were barking at that dog, and I, like I don't know why they decided to play in front of my house. Anyway, we're getting back to your reading. I apologize; it's terrible, but we're gonna work with it. All right, so I feel like it's really, again, talking about family, like you guys are going to be part of a family. You're creating a family. If there is an old wound in regards to family, like maybe you had a falling out with somebody in family or your person did, I feel like this marriage, this coming together is going to heal that. Like you're going to decide, well, we're going to invite them to the wedding. If they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. But I feel like there's going to be a, like a bridge mended. I, I, for some reason, I, I'm seeing like um, things being reconnected. All right, they're showing me. I um, can't even describe what they're showing me, but they're showing me things that like you guys are going to reconnect and heal something. So that's a good thing. All right, we have hammer. Ah, here we go. That's why they gave it to me. That's why they showed me that. Rebuild. Working on it. Repairing. So I feel like this relationship's really going to repair something. Now, it could be... No, I don't feel like you're... I don't feel like this is... A, I don't think you're marrying somebody from the past. I don't. So again, I think maybe this is if this is a second marriage, you know, you were really hurt in the first one, it didn't work out. You're repairing you, like meeting this person is going to um, like repair you, like fix your confidence, fix your, 
I'm not so lovable because now you're realizing that you are somebody else actually wants to marry you. You know what I mean? Like the self-doubt, the, the negativity is being fixed. All right, let's see what else. Patience and stillness. If you don't feel worthy of this, I want to reach through the video <laughs> and give your shoulders a shake. You are so worthy of greatness. You are so worthy of having a relationship that is just for you, the way that you want it, all the things that you want. You're worthy of it. Do not think, push this person away because you feel like you're not worthy of it because that's like the resting traits like going inside and really thinking about things i actually feel like you've attracted your perfect person psychic awareness yeah see now we have psychic awareness we have the high priestess up here so this is saying you're gonna know you're just gonna know that this is right you might you know doubt it a little bit here and there because we all want to make sure we're making the right choice, right? But just trust your intuition. Your intuition has led you to this person in the first place. All right. So, yeah, this is definitely meant for you. Take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid. All right. Don't be afraid. Take a leap of faith. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. <laughs> so you know your person's gonna like you immediately you know you're gonna have this chemistry right off the bat rose quartz the gem of love um so yeah you, there's gonna be deep love here i mean uh, obviously you're marrying this person you wouldn't marry somebody you didn't love right i hope not um but yeah, there's going to be a deep love here. Your person's going to love you just as much as you love them. All right, let's pull you some charms. Ghost. <laughs> I, I, I'm working. I am so working. I know you were alone all day. I know you need attention. I'm working. Oh, this puppy. All right, smiles. You're going to have a lot of reasons to smile. Make a wish because it's coming true. So I told you, you're meeting the person that you want to meet. Now, we do have Phoenix rising from the ashes. So if this is a second marriage, like, you're rising. You're, this is going to be bigger, better, amazing. Look, we got the 222. 222, that's my, my um, you know, numbers, right? Then the, <laughs> obviously, Christina. Um it's a sign it's a sign saying that you're on the right track your your person is going to be close especially if you're seeing repeating numbers and just know that that's your person you're on the right track or they're close something magical is about to happen for you you have the key to success you have luck on your side you have stability coming in you can cut ties with the past you don't have to worry about this person. This person's not going to hurt you the way that you were hurt in the past. You're good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'm going to end it here. This dog needs some attention. Uh, pile one, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. What? Hi, pile two. If you chose yellow, then this one is your reading. Let's grab some cards. The Hierophant, well, if you're worried you're going to get married, don't. You got the priest here. <laughs> Seven of Wands, the Hermit, could be a Virgo. Three of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. Sorry, I had to get some water. All right. Um, somebody's fighting for you. This person's going to fight for you. So is there a lot of competition for you? Because this one's fighting for you. This one's worried that you're not going to choose them. They're willing to do whatever it takes for you to marry them. 
for you to for you to choose them for you to you know for them to be the one i really do think that um this person is seriously worried so you must be pretty amazing <laughs> You must be pretty amazing. Or like there's somebody who else who really wants you in their life. But um, I, I feel like you guys are going to have a really street, uh, strong bond between the two of you. Your person probably might need some like alone time from now you know every once in a while they probably like downtime they probably need to like rest and recharge from things um they probably have a a strong relationship with god or source depending on their belief system but i feel like they're they're connected i think they you know pray or manifest for things that they want I think you're both going to be prepared to put in the work and accept compromises that will help you succeed in life. Um, I, this person could be a workaholic, but you know, as long as you always remember to bring balance, especially into your relationship, um, you'll be okay. But, yeah, this person does not want to lose you. So, I don't know if there's somebody else vying for your attention or what, but it feels like they want to speed this along a little bit. Like, they want to get commitment from you right away so that they they feel a little more secure. So, this is, some, this is probably not going to be... Like, I think this person will, will pop the question fairly quickly. A wish will not be granted. What is that? And beware of great pride. Hmm. Something's not working out, but somebody's, uh, somebody's ego get in the way of something not working out. All right, now they're giving me a story. Now this, I know this is not everyone's story because it's way too specific. It's definitely personal read information, but this is what they're giving me. Um, I don't know if there's religious differences between the two of you, but it feels like somebody wants to maybe like a religious ceremony and the other person doesn't. And that might cause some conflict. Eventually, I feel like you, Pile 2, are going to win. Now, roles can be reversed, but I kind of, I'm like feeling strongly that it's my viewer that's going to get the upper hand um, because I feel like your person's not going to want to lose you and they're going to end up giving in to something that you want and making a sacrifice. But somebody's not getting their wish. It kind of feels like it has to do with the wedding. Uh, they keep drawing my attention to the higher fence. But it could be other things like it could be, you know, somebody wants to move and, and you're like, no, I'm not moving away from my family. Like somebody in this relationship is not getting their way. And they're saying, like, don't gloat over it just because you win and you're getting your way and your person's backing down and giving you what you want. It just shows that they're willing to to make sacrifices for you. That's how much they care about you. So beware of the greed and don't be the peacock and strut your stuff and like throw it in their face you know we don't want to make them feel extra bad about it we want them to feel okay that they're not getting their way so just be careful of that that's all and again that does not have to be everybody's story but they're kind of giving it to me pretty strongly it kind of feels like i'm going to tell you they showed me like somebody was catholic somebody was jewish and the jewish person wanted a jewish wedding and the catholic was like mm -mm, that ain't happening we don't have to have a religious ceremony. We can get married outside somewhere by a lake or by a justice of the peace. I don't care, but I'm not having a Jewish wedding. Like it kind of, that's 
the scenario they gave me. Now, I know that's not everybody's story. So, and like I said, it doesn't have to even be about the wedding. It could be about something else. But one person's not getting their wish. The other one person, the other person has to try not to gloat. Because they're making a sacrifice for you. Because they love you that much. And they're afraid that you're going to lose them. <laughs> that they're going to lose you. They're afraid they're, you're going to walk away. It's a little bit of both. They want, they want you to be happy, but they also are afraid to lose you. Which isn't good. You know, that's not good, but it is what it is. That's what I'm getting. The Holy Spirit expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So, um, as, uh, there's a miracle happening here. So, um, maybe this is saying that you both are going to be able to have your wish in some way. You're both going to get your way. You're both going to have what you want. I don't know, but there's going to be a miracle here, which is always beautiful, no matter what that is. Or, you know, for those of you who are young, it could be a miracle of birth, right? It could be a baby coming. Girl with a snake, charmed or used in evil and boundaries. Again... I feel like this is about somebody really standing up for what they believe in them, like not giving in, like, no, I don't want a Jewish ceremony. I'm not giving in. I'm sorry. You know, if you want to marry me, this is a boundary I'm not willing to cross. So I kind of feel like somebody's being really super stubborn. Um, but... It's not necessarily bad. It's like, I get it. Like, if you don't want that, that's not what you envision for your marriage, for your wedding day, then don't do it. So I, I get it. I get it. Um, but I kind of feel like it's, again, reiterating, like somebody else is not getting their way because you're being stubborn about it. And I'm not saying that being stubborn is a bad thing right now. I'm not. I, I, I think you should stand up for what you believe in and what you want. We all deserve to get what we want. But just remember that your person's not getting what they want. So a compromise maybe could could uh, be helpful. I don't know. The Desert Prince, survival, false promises. Yeah, I feel like, again, it's still tying to the same thing where somebody's not getting what they want because somebody promised something and it may have been interpreted a different way like uh, you know when I proposed you knew I was Jewish you knew I wanted a Jewish wedding and now you're telling me we're not having it like I took that as when you said yes you were agreeing to, to have a Jewish wedding and you're like, no, I agreed to marry you. I didn't agree to that type of wedding. Just because you want it doesn't mean I agreed to it. So, like, I feel like there's, like, semantics going on here, right? And somebody feels like uh, a promise wasn't kept. Again, it ha might not have anything to do with the wedding. It might have something to do with something else. Like, maybe somebody wanted kids and the other person was like, no, I don't, I don't want kids. I'm not having kids. So, Divine Helpers, Shadow Work. So there's going to be some shadow work that's done. And what shadow work is, is like really going inside of yourself, digging deep, facing your fears, facing things that you might have done wrong that you think you've done wrong, you know, facing past mistakes and seeing why you did the things you did or why you felt the way that you felt or why other people did the things that they did to you. It's like really going back and analyzing things and breaking it down step by step until you get to the root 
But once you get to the root, then you're able to acknowledge it and let it go because now you understand it completely. So there's some shadow work being done probably because somebody's feeling like they're not getting their way. But everything's going to work out in the end. Good fortune. Invite the magic in. So we do have a miracle happening. And, you know, now we have some magic here. So uh, there might be a bump in the road at some point. But I feel like you guys are going to overcome it. You guys are going to come to, like, a, some kind of compromise. Maybe something miraculous does happen where you both get your way. But things are going to work out, and you guys are going to get married, and everything is going to be fine. Cassette. Outdated thinking. Replaying events over in your head. Well, here's the shadow work. So you're going to work on it, right? You're going to re stop replaying it over and over again. You're going to face it. You're going to break it down. And you're going to release it or vice versa your person is obsidian offer protection and grounding use this as you would wear a necklace peace security and love adorn you so again this bump in the road between the two of you is going to be okay you are going to end up with a beautiful miracle and some magical you know happily ever after feelings come in you're going to be loved Obsidian's coming in to say we're sending you the energy of protection and love. You're not going to be hurt. So, yeah, it, everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine with your person. They love you enough to compromise. They love you enough to still marry you, even though you might be a little stubborn. <laughs> I'm a little stubborn, so uh, it would be I would be grateful. Anyway, just being you. They don't want you to change who you are. They just kind of want to have their way sometimes, too. Or they want to compromise or something here. But look, resolutions. They're going to get a resolution. You guys are going to resolve this issue, and you're going to end up living happily ever after. They're saying you are going in the right direction. This is your person. There will be abundance here. So there will be a lot of happiness, a lot of love, a lot of abundance. Good luck, right? The good luck dragon. Good luck. So um, it's okay to wear your crown. It's okay to step up and say, no, it's not what I want. All right. It might throw, you know, a monkey wrench into things, but you'll be fine. You guys are making make do things will transform things will change into what you want them to be you got this don't give up on your person all right pile two that is what i have for you it's kind of a strange read huh um i don't know like the video <laughs> subscribe to the channel and leave me comments even if they're saying you are crazy <laughs> Until next time, love and light. All right, pile three, if you chose blue, this is your reading. Let's grab some cards. Knight of Cups. Oh, the lovers. The Emperor. Two of Pentacles. And the Sun. Really great cards, pile three. Your, your, your person's going to come in and sweep you off your feet. They're very romantic. Very romantic. You are going to fall head over heels for this person. Oh, my goodness. You guys are going to get uh, serious quickly. Um, you're going to feel a really deep bond between the two of you. Oh, but somebody, somebody's an emperor, somebody's alpha, somebody is going to like, you know, have that confidence. Confidence is so attractive. Um, but yeah, this is going to be long term and stable because somebody's going to take the reins. Somebody wants this badly. Look at that sun on the end, all that complete happiness and joy and bliss. 
Yeah. I think that, you know, as long as you guys keep your life in balance, everything's going to work out just beautifully. This is a beautiful, romantic relationship. You're going to love each other very deeply. Very deeply. Your, your, um, your Knight of Cups is someone who is so romantic. Uh, could be, you know, highly sexual too, but very romantic here. Your love life is going to be just, just amazing. I feel like you guys are going to like have this deep love, this trust in each other. It's like you guys are going to overcome any obstacles together. You're definitely soulmates. Beautiful. Your person can be a little stubborn at times, right? Because they're the emperor. But um, they're also like ambitious and competitive, um, confident. And like I said, like honesty, honest, but can be a little stubborn. But it, this is just going to be a solid relationship. It really, really, truly is. I absolutely adore this. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So you guys are going to have a lot of opportunities in your marriage or in your life. Reconciliation. All right, could this be somebody that you have reconciled with? Or could it be somebody who just is, um, you know, maybe somebody you, you used to know, but then you came back together later in life and actually started a relationship? You know, maybe you weren't in a relationship in the past, but now you are. So this could be somebody that you used to know in some way. Hope. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Oh, recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. You are going to feel like you're not unworthy of this person. You're not. You are not. This person, this person's going to feel really amazing to you because they're, they're just going to do all the right things, say all the right things because they're very much in love with you. Death. Well, this is saying the relationship's over, but I don't feel like it's, you know, this is your future spouse. So I'm taking this as when the reconciliation came in. Like maybe you did date in the past. Maybe this, it was over. Maybe you thought you'd never see this person again. And uh, then hope comes in and you realized how much you love each other and you can't live without them. Positive expectations and clarity. Yeah, somebody received their clarity. So this person is going to come back to you. Competition. There might be competition for them, though. Hang on. All right, let's see. Al, follow your intuition. So if your intuition is leading you backwards, um, normally I say don't go backwards, right? Um, but follow your intuition. Dragonfly, be lighthearted. Find out things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. All right, so again, it's just saying that you guys are going to come together and it's going to be beautiful this time. You guys are going to heal what, what needed to be healed. And uh, it looks like you're getting a second chance here. Pyrite. Huh. Use this for all alchemical endeavors. What you imagine can come to fruition. So this is a manifesting stone. Pyrite. So this is something that you've manifested. You wanted this. You wanted a reconciliation, and now you're getting it. And it's going to end up, you know, working out for you. Nice. Let's pull you some charms.
Yeah, you wished on a star and now it's coming true. Right? Cupid came in to shoot its arrows and to protect you from this from being hurt again. Right? You guys learn, you guys grew. And now you're receiving a gift from the universe. You have some angel help here. You also have a lot of happiness with this smiley face. You guys are making peace with the past and what happened. You guys are super attracted to each other with the fox, but it's also you guys being clever and working things out. We have the stallion. So again, that's horsepower, that's longevity, that's being able to make it, right? Uh, you guys are, have horsepower. Absolutely beautiful. Now we do have January, so I don't know if that's somebody's birthday, is somebody born in January, or is this some a date that's significant to the two of you or something? But I don't know, comes out for a reason, so. Alright, pile three. That's what I got. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. All right, pile four, if you chose pink, here's your reading. The Chariot. Queen of Pentacles. Judgment. Nine of Cups. Justice. Wow, this is a do-over. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a do-over with somebody from the past, but this could be a second chance at marriage. This could be somebody's second marriage. Now, it doesn't have to be. I mean, if you thought you were getting married to someone before and it didn't end up working out, this could just mean it's a second chance to have what you always wanted. Chariot, it, that's a victory. That is a victory. And a wish come true justice like you're finally getting justice here you're finally getting what was you know what what's meant for you it's also a legal card so again like getting married um, just be careful sometimes sometimes with the chariot that um, Someone could be a little too, uh, I, I want to say smothering, right? I don't know if that's exactly the right word, but um, just, you know, somebody might be like needy as far as like always wanting to be with you, always wanting to do things with you, never wanting you to do things on your own. It's a little bit of a codependency thing, so just make sure that that's balanced out, that they... Um, get to do things without you and you without them because, uh, you know, we can't always be with each other. Um, but for the most part, I feel like your person is very capable, um, very strong. I feel like um, you guys are going to have stability and trust and uh, a good time, good times together. So, I like this. I do. I like it. I know I'm, I might have uh, threw you off a little bit, but I, I think it's going to be beautiful. I think that this relationship is very important, and um, it's going to be long and fruitful. And I do feel like you guys are going to learn a lot together. Absolutely. Um, your person is a leader, definitely like a leader, like they're strong. They know what direction to go in. This is someone you can count on. Like when a fork appears in the road, they're like, oh, let's just go this way. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. They, they tend to be very optimistic, very happy, happy person. Um, it's, this relationship is going to be fulfilling. And I do feel like, uh, I do feel a lot of romance here. So your person's going to be sweet. They're going to be good to you. 
I do like this a lot. So I'm excited. So let's get a few more cards. We've got new home, new attitude. And plenty of material things. So your person is probably somebody who's very strong, very stable, very reliable. And, and you guys will end up, you know, being, you know, at least stable, if not well off. Uh, you will probably have, um, you know, you probably won't live in somebody else's house. You probably will get new a new house together. With fresh energy, I think that's really a good thing. Kali Ma, facing fears. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So again, I feel like this relationship has the ability to be long term, a lot long lasting, very, um, very fruitful. You have the butterfly evolving in growth, the next phase, releasing the past. I kind of feel like this is a second marriage. I really do. I feel like or, you know, you're releasing the past and, and you've evolved and, you know, you, this is the next phase of your life. Trust strategizing. Your person is smart. They're wise. They're, um, they're just strategic and, uh, you can trust them. You can trust them higher self the person has very strong intuition they, they might even be spiritual they might even work with you know their intuition or you know uh, the spirit they might have abilities at least that they you know just trust their own intuition when they get a message they they trust it they believe in it um, but I kind of feel like they have they, they, they have abilities. Memories. This is a, this. Memories of loved ones. So I feel like your person has lost a lot in their life. I feel like they've lost. They might have, you know, had people pass on them. But it's, I feel like it's more than that. I feel like it's more than just people dying. I feel like it's, they've had, they've had a lot of loss. Like maybe they have some abandonment issues almost. But it hasn't let gotten them down. Like they've still succeeded in life. They still have moved forward. They still have, maybe that's why they might be a little clingy at times because they're afraid of that loss. They've already lost so much. They don't want to be abandoned again. Hmm. But I like your person. I really do. So like, I don't feel like they're controlling or, or uh, too codependent. I feel like they're independent enough because they are the queen of pentacles and she's independent. She can take care of herself. So I feel like your person can take care of themselves. It's just when they're in a relationship, they like, they really like companionship and they want that honesty and they want that knowing, right? They want to feel comfortable. The green rape, rip, reaper. The relationship is over. Kind of makes me feel like this person has had an end, like a lot of endings in their life. And now they're getting a second chance. I don't necessarily feel like this is somebody that you're getting a second chance with. Like, I don't feel like this is an ex. I just feel like your person's getting a do-over, like this is a second marriage. Citrine. This crystal is all about abundance. Carry, create, carve, and receive. So abundance is definitely coming to you. Your person is definitely able to take care of uh, things. And uh, you guys are going to be really happy. A lot of uh, abundance here. It's please and charms. All 
right only a couple came out here we have the your angels working with you or your person works with them we have candy so your person's going to be very really sweet really nice um always looking to move forward right the relationship's always going to be progressing look they have soulmate love here so you guys are probably soulmates and then we have the divine masculine so whether you're in persons of male or female it doesn't matter they have that inner strength they have that leadership quality they can tap into that divine masculine and succeed where they need to they just have that confidence at times and they have the ability the abilities to succeed but yet at the same time they're really sweet and nice and kind and loving and generous so got a great person here all right pile four that is what i have for you give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave me a comment all those things help me and i appreciate you for it until next time love and light